Today, we're playing Bart and Viego. This is the classic Maduli and Miss Printer, where we shuffle a million chimes into our deck with the help of Soul Cleave on the Maduli so that Viego can level with just a single unit dying. We're playing this list very greedy, maybe a little bit too greedy, with the only interaction being Hate Spike, Cosmic Binding, and Vengeance. So, for that reason, I wouldn't actually recommend climbing with this deck unless you want to alter the deck yourself. I'm just here to have a good time, and I'm not necessarily here for a long time still that absolutely did not stop me from having a good time so make sure to land all your chimes on that like and subscribe button and happy high rolling we'll, we'll, we'll check out astria we'll check out Dang library thing. of runa we'll check out i probably want to do like wild frost even though i have played that in the past because i like that game so much play Dead Space. Ah oh, yeah, Dead Space is my favorite roguelike deck builder. Uh, I'll make sure to check that one out. <laughs> Start playing Rune Terror. What would be the first deck you recommend? Do you have any experience playing online card games? Because that could impact the decision. Um, if you like playing Control in other games, I would recommend something like Heimer Jace maybe. Pokemon and some One Piece. I think those are very different from Rune Terra. I, I would recommend something simple that you get from the starter decks, like a, a Demacia deck, for example. There's 10 regions, and Demacia is by far the easiest one to play and learn the game with. Daybreak, another one. 25. Inscription? I have played Inscription, and I beat it. There, it's actually on the... It's on the old variety channel. I don't want to play Viego now. Okay, never mind. We can play Viego. Are they deep, actually? 20? They're not deep. Okay, we can play Viego. Uh, I'm probably going to glimpse the Chime Slime. Watery Grave. Okay, Watery Grave is something we have to be very careful of. For us. No, I'll pass here. So we want Viego potentially to die so we can miscall it. Never mind. Any decent Renekton deck? Yeah, Renekton Sejuani is uh, apparently very good right now. Alright, I think we win the game here, chap. What are they gonna do for two mana? What are they gonna do to stop us from just getting 200 plus chimes in our deck? Boom, boom! 238. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's top deck a big boy here. Yeah, that works. So... We'll start here. Because I want to keep mana open for the miss call. Do we, uh, do I just, like, glimpse this? I probably do, right? Glimpse to love Viego? Can you explain the chime shenanigans here? Sure. So, <laughs> alright, hold on. So, Maduli is a card that when someone doubles the amount of chimes in your deck, Soul Cleave kills an ally and summons two copies. So that means Maduli normally played, doubles it, then Soul Cleave summons two more copies, doubles, and doubles again. So you're, uh, you're literally sitting on a million chimes after that. I've done the math. It's actually a million. Question? Thank you. Hey, Sonya, how can you claim you only play cool decks and here you are playing not failure? The cool is re... You will serve. Yeah, good point. Good point. Freljord is factually the coolest oh, region. Who live will serve. You're not wrong. Hello, Cinnamon. What? Oh, this is a 1-3. Hmm. 
Wait, what died for us this turn? The Chime Slime, right? Uh, okay, so they're trying to win through Maokai. So we have to just uh, draw cards right now. Yeah, we could still lose to the Maokai. We need a champion here. Uh -oh. Are we dead, Chad? Maokai is leveled. I think we are just dead, actually. Depending on what we draw here. Oh, no, wait. Oh, I could Soul Cleave this. Wait, wait. Is it over? Wait, I don't think it's over, right? Oh, no. Okay, it's not over. When I'm someone tossed to and... Yeah, okay. If, if I Soul Cleave this, it wasn't even over. Okay, I, I was so worried about Maokai into Soul Cleave. Or Maokai into Watery Grave. But with Soul Cleave on this, we would still win. I'm just going to pass until we find out what they got. This came from... They found a deep card in their treasure trove? Now, hold on. <laughs> this is how you beat deep. Just have bigger stats. Oh, wow. Okay, they just did nothing. All right. Okay, we have another Viego now. Great. Fantastic. I just have to be very careful. I command you. Might be difficult to find some of these Viego spells. Ah, we have like uh, we have the doggo here. Move like Cham again. I'm I'm scared that if they play Maokai, we just lose everything anyway. I'd rather wait for them to use Maokai. They are at 14 again. I'm not abusing elusives. I'm not. Definitely not. It's a Probo Master. So I want this dog to die now. The dog has done its job, and I don't accidentally want to draw more cards than I have to. I could actually swap them. I could have drawn a card off it first, I suppose. Play slowly, patiently. Oh, elusive blocker. They're not playing a champion. They can't play Maokai anymore. They have this. This doesn't do much. You steal it? Actually, you're right. I, I would steal it. Yeah, it's, it's not unlikely. They just play something bigger, though. Wait, what? Did they just not target anything with this? Hmm. So we now have more units attacking than they have defenders, even with the elusive. I will find her. Where were their champions? Where are their vengeances? I mean, I saw them mill at least one Watery Grave. I think they were setting up for, like, the one-turn kill with Watery Grave, and they just didn't get it in time, I guess. GG. GG. I will take back what is mine. All of it. For the Heimer? Um, sure, right? But uh, I, I, I would hate to see stuff like... Zoe or Timo go. Like, Timo is good in elusive strategy. So is Zoe. But for their intended purposes, I think they're very cool. I mean, it's kind of your problem that you don't deal with Heimer when it's raw. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, sure. Uh, you know, my opponent played a Heimerdinger into my eight open mana. I could have had Soul Harvest. I could have had Vengeance, worst case scenario. They didn't care. They didn't care. I think opponent misplayed there, personally. But I didn't have the answer. So, you know, it is what it is, right? But to then immediately deal with two 7-2s, elusive, while they get two Challenger to pull my stuff out of the way, I don't know. 
I personally don't think that's like an angle that a lot of players enjoy playing as me included. That's just me though. That's that's just me. Say what you want about the power level. I just don't think it's fun. A little reinforcement at the scene. I feel like an MTG, there are way more blocking badge bear effects to do with flyers. I don't know why they are more anti-elusive stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've heard that. Um, I don't know. I personally, like, again, it's, it's much more nuanced than what I make it out to be, 100%. Beca because you could argue, right, like... If I'm playing against control that generally don't really have ways to protect their units, I shouldn't be losing to Heimer and a double elusive, and I can see that. I, I, I would say you're not wrong about that. How many chimes do we have? 22. I'll play... If we play Viego, Viego probably dies. For real. She waits for me beyond here. the mist, my queen. What do you seek, and what do you offer? <laughs> I'm okay if they kill Bard here. They could like gentleman's duel on the Balin on the Viego actually. And that would kinda suck. I would not be happy about that. I am the chosen of the storm himself. Okay. So we can start beating whatever they throw at us now. Uh this could be a Volibear turn actually. They offer tooth bone in trail, but never flowers. Good. They are less satisfying for my fangs. No, we're not dead. This is something we could come back from for sure. Um, we're far from dead here. Seven. Am I willing to revive Gamble? I don't think we have to. We'll kill one of their units, and then we'll play Maduli on top of this. We can block Volibear with the 1-1. One, one. We can block Balin with the Maduli. And then we'll do, we'll take 5. And then next turn, we can Soul Cleave the Maduli. It, it is very winnable. Cutter. I mean, they're, they have to attack here, right? Like, there's no way they're not attacking. Whelps. All right, well, <laughs> took zero damage there. Okay, so now, now things get nasty. This is when things get nasty. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. It's probably still fine, actually. Let all here's will be done. If they don't kill Viego here, we can definitely win. Alright. Cool. Let us turn this tundra red! So this is dead. We get a blocker. And we get a stun. And now we also have a 26-26 life steal. But never flowers. Good. They are less satisfying for my fangs. So I should probably stun this. Because this gives uh this deals four three times.
All right. That's what I thought. <laughs> and that's another volleyball down. Thank you. <laughs> okay, they can't freeze this. All right. Just be bigger. Just have the bigger stats. Double volleyball doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Get some chimes in there. What the hell? <laughs> Bro, you're running two Zenith Blades in your deck. You're running a Solari Stellacorn in your deck. You can send the deck code. <laughs> but I don't know, man. I got I got a better version on my profile. I'll, I'll tell you guys that right now. <laughs> so the only way for them to level Rek'Sai is through Halo? Which website are you using? Uh, Roomtower.ar <laughs> GG, I was the Sombers. You are the best player I've ever met. I want to say that right now. Uh, we need to find something for the Gwen. It's a 4-4. We know how to prepare. I think we're gonna play this into Bard. It can be undone. Huh. Here. Okay. Big. I want like Leona, I really do, but I can't help but feel like it's a damn near impossible for Daybreak to not do Daybreak shit, and you have to have specific removal for it, or you just get Exodia. Yeah, no, I feel the same way. I really do like what Le uh, Daybreak goes for too, but it's very often just like, can I get Ravun and Leona on the board? Can I have an insane curve early? Or in my last opponent's case, can I have double Sunburst when I only run two copies against the, 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 the Viego deck? <laughs> yeah, no. I, I hear what you're saying. They, they're hitting Lurk, but not Rek'Sai. So I guess they just have like the Xerxes Red and stuff? Oh. Okay, that's a bit worrisome. These are not good cards to have at all. We're not really doing anything with, uh, with our deck. We need bigger stats. We do have 33 sh uh, slimes, actually. That's a lot of sl uh, chimes. I keep trying to say slime because of the chime slime. But that's not what it is. So, <laughs> the problem with this card is that Xerzoreth and Rek'Sai don't get Overwhelm until they do something specific. So we can't actually disable any keywords. On them. Okay, that's a very good draw. That's, uh, that's the best draw on the deck. Unless they have another Vengeance. In which case, it becomes the worst draw in the deck. Alright. For for if they have it, they have it, am I right? What they didn't have it. World. Sweet. Diego goes to four. Another chance line. I will find her. I'll buff this so Gwen doesn't get a great block here. Four HP. Oh. 
Are they gonna roll for a snap jaw? I didn't get it. That's also a pretty good roll, though. Yeah, it could be worse. We're in a good spot here. It would have been nice if one of our units died for the Viego to become bigger. Oh, miss call. Oh, both times they lurked, it was probably from a call to pack. Interesting. Huh. That is really interesting. Is the music playing from the game? Yeah, it is. It's this board, the World Breaker board. You cannot stop me. Fine, let's not risk it. <laughs> I command you. Oh, the level went. I okay. will not squander the great gift I've been given. I hope next reveal we get Kian and LOR. I feel like the chances of that are pretty high, considering we got all this elemental stuff. And elemental is not necessarily like the first thing that comes to my mind when I think Balabear or Janna. But for Kiana it definitely is. I'm hoping for a colleague. God, I hope not. <laughs> that can only be elusive, and I'm 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 done with that, man. The dark I don't think this is lethal. A quick snip. No. Damn. We give them one more turn. Surrender to me. What are you four for? Surely we don't die here. In this timeline, we're sure to save Ikatia. Surely they don't have a way to kill us from 20. Our stats weren't even that big. Damn it. What a joy! Oh my god, they found the Rek'Sai! Why does it say minus one? It said my- okay, Gwen's spell has to just be bugged, man. That keeps happening. Mini Yone for stun deck? I was actually thinking about it, right? Like, Yasuo is the badass samurai that they added to the game. Everybody knows him. And then he comes down to a stun archetype. I feel like it's such a miss, man. Like, who who gets excited about that? Cool. Mago, I did. I mean, he looks badass, but it's like, it's tied to a stun archetype, so it never, like, sticks. It's like, Victor can be my favorite champion forever. But, yeah, I don't know. He also feels a bit more limited that way. Zet is the most iconic champion, he's unplayable. I don't know if I'd consider Zet more iconic than something like Lux or Yasuo. I don't think so. Mango Dem. This is the kind of matchup where you kind of want to have Soul Harvest, but we're not running it. Oh, I won one. Uh, hmm. <laughs> this is the best card in the Lowry decks. Oh, I've never met anyone like you. The winds of change blow bitter cold. Hmm, okay. I should have kept the Bard, I guess. Because now if they play a Lowey, we're like in a pretty bad spot, I would say. Oh, never mind. Okay, good draw. Pretty good. Peace is a fool's promise. What do you seek? And what do you offer? I'm pretty sure I have to miss call here, don't I? Or do I just play for the super greed? 
Oh man, I, I have to do it. I, I to stay alive. I have to do this. It's it's just so bad if we don't. Huh? Okay. I wasn't gonna consume that. Mm. Just to get rid of the spell shield, I guess. Volibear? Weak and unworthy. Okay. Cool. We're chilling. We uh we're 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 possibly gonna go bigger than our opponent here. I don't know what they could have to deal with the uh, Diego. We're in a good spot here. We are in a good spot. We can play the Maduli and just chill. We don't have to Soul Cleave right now. We could even attack with the Maduli. Okay, we're attacking with Maduli. If they if they manage to kill Maduli here, it's so good for us. Yeah, this is insane. Isn't it? Wasn't that just like close to level Diego? So that's plus seven. Diego is at eight. Close to ten. And this gives us two four fours. Diego would be at eighteen. I don't know if it's worth it to do that. I think it's better to do this. Yo, Maduli's back. Okay, they could have a tentacle. No, tentacle. Oh my god, another Maduli. Wait. Game's over. The game is over. Maduli on the board and in the hand. You sure Glimpse wasn't a better option? The thing is, if this becomes a 7 7, Tentacle Slam can kill Diego because it's plus 2 plus 2. So I think it's correct to keep the Tentacle at 6 instead of 7. So Diego is more safe. So now we win for sure. Now there's like nothing they can do. They offer tooth, bone, entrail, but never flowers. Good. They are less satisfying for my fangs. They actually drew that from the sigil, by the way, to exactly have enough mana. Uh, it doesn't matter though, because the game's over now. They cannot win anymore. It is impossible for them to win. All we gotta do is this. Have a million chimes, level Viego. You cannot stop me. You matter so little. Obey your king. Or, no, I should do this. I should just keep I should just play safe because if they play like another volley bear and somehow all the oh, well, lightning goes to our next one, we could still die. <laughs> okay. I have given all. Well, their levels and dies into it. You surrender to me. All right. Big. <laughs> so big. I mean, this just does lose them the game, right? No. Wait, god damn it. I'd rather do that then. Draw some actual cards. Vengeance? You think vengeance? I mean, it could win us the game. We're tapped out of mana at that point. Ah, let's try to win the game, I guess. You're right.
Mango Dem. Dolo Mies. Thank you for the three months. All right, GG. We got him. GG. Thank God. The Father Bear decks are somehow pretty easy to beat because by the time they play Father Bear, we already have bigger stats. We already have like a leveled Viego to just kill Father Bear instantly at round start. GG. Thinking outside the box, Zillion Victor, Time Bomb Printer, one, two, pop. Meta shifter, not a quitter, fighting for LPP Snow. It's probably the best Rune Terror website if you're just looking for stats. Hello. Hello, cat. You come to say hi? Alright, here's the cat. Here's the chonker. Hello. Oh, stream. You want to say something? He is so freaking cute.